Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Gugu Mkize. Welcome. Um, please go ahead and subscribe since you're new. If you aren't new and you've watched some of my videos but you haven't subscribed, like, I don't know. I, I don't know where the connection is not coming together. Please go ahead and subscribe as well. Um, and yeah, everybody to everybody who has subscribed, thank you so much. The numbers are growing. I'm seeing them. I'm super excited. I'm super happy. And basically, I'm now on the road to a thousand subscribers. So I'm super excited about that. Thank you so much. Yeah. So in the video that I posted the last time, which was about situationships, I don't know what happened. I have no clue what happened. As far as I was concerned, I was recording, the recording sign was on the camera, I could see it timing, and everything, and everything was cool. How oh, I then decided, no, okay, cool, I'm done I'm recording for the day, now it's time to edit. Two of the clips are gone, which are the last clips that the last bit of um, the situation trips video so I decided you know I'd let me just post it instead of redoing the whole thing because I was in the groove of things when I recorded that let me do a part two and I'll just deal with the part that was left out so basically now I have went into detail and explained um, what a situation trip is some of the signs to look for if you still confused as to are you in a situation ship? Are you not in a situation ship? So hopefully by now you've watched that video. If you have not watched that video, I'll leave a, um, a link in the description box. And I think I'll add a card somewhere on the video so that you can click on it and I'll take you right there. Um, but yeah, have you had time to think about uh, your relationship? Where you stand? What's going on? Are you in a situation ship or what? I'm really curious to... Um, so yeah, actually, what, how the video helped you or open your eyes and whatnot. I have been getting messages, but like, the thing is, I want us to all share the messages together. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I would appreciate like those DMs turning into comments so we can all share. I don't think anybody like is going through comments to judge. Most likely somebody who's watching this video is interested in the video and your DMs that I've been getting and WhatsApp messages to those who I have on WhatsApp like your responses are like great they can de i definitely see them helping other people so can we please at least try and you know have a conversation on the comment section so now i'm gonna go today is a bit chilly that's why i'm in a jersey um so yeah i'm gonna go into the last bit the last bit basically talks about why it okay mm. The last bit talks about why you should run in the opposite direction when you figure out that homeboy is having a situationship with you or is in a situationship with you. Why you shouldn't be dealing with situationships at any age. In fact, it doesn't matter how old you are watching this. But if you find yourself in a situationship, these are the reasons why you shouldn't even be entertaining them. I still have them in my book, so I'm just going to go through them. I have some in a drink um this is actually the first time i drink anything on like my channel okay so basically the first issue is you're wasting your time i repeat you are wasting your time you're wasting your time in the sense that getting into the relationship is like a, it takes up time it's time consuming you've been chatting with this person um, you know, you've been meeting up with this person to the point where you guys find yourselves in a situation. So getting yourself in a situation has used up your time. Being in that situation is using up your time. So you're doing, you're going on dates, you're having sleepovers. You're basically in a relationship, but not in a relationship that there's a waste of your time because when you're in a relationship, you guys are headed some way. So even if you guys break up, you guys had some sort of intentions or a direction that you were headed in but a situation ship is different there was never a destination of any sort so that's how it differs from a relationship and then lastly once you do figure out that you're in a situation ship and you decide listen i want to leave you having to get over the breakup 
of a relationship that never really existed um, and the feeling of why I really wasted my time wow how stupid could I have been or whatever any kind of feelings you get after you've ended that situation you still need to deal and process that is a waste of valuable time that you could have been spending on somebody you cared for somebody who had good intentions for you and whatnot so it's a waste of time on all aspects like all aspects and i say it's a waste of time on your side especially fem the female side because usually it's the females that catch feelings a homeboy hasn't caught any feelings so if you're like yeah nah i can't do this anymore whatever he's just like cool plus i was entertaining other people onto the next so it's really a, w a big waste of time on your end mm. the second thing is that oh this is so good the second thing that um being in a situation i know a lot of people don't want to admit this um it does eat away at your self-esteem you may want to you may not want to admit it but i think deep down inside you will definitely know that it eats at your self-esteem because you start asking yourself questions like okay i've been with this person for a really long time why can't he commit to me like what's going on with me that guys don't want to commit um because once you date once you get used to being in a situation that's what you keep inviting in your life so you start questioning yourself like okay cool is this my life like is this it for me am i supposed to be the girl that sort of preps guys to get married preps guys to be in serious relationships like is that it for me like do i not deserve more it starts um to eat at your self-esteem because you start questioning yourself and a lot of the time it's the same thing when it happens to cheating you start questioning yourself like okay what did i do what did i do what did i do but in actual fact you should be questioning that other person like why didn't he see that i was a catch and all of that but it never works that way i don't know why but it eats at your self-esteem so let me see what else i wrote um yeah so yeah so i've explained all of that like why you you may feel why don't you deserve commitment why are you not finding people who want to be committed to you what's wrong with me that kind of thing so really says we are in 2020 we the rona is upon us you have serious things to worry about instead of worrying about somebody who is too chicken to commit to you or let you know that listen baby you're not my type that's it so we grow like everybody's grown um three it is self-inflicted pain you know it's like there's an open fire or a braai you know the braai stand is hot and you still go and you you put your hands there you're obviously gonna burn you know you're gonna burn and it's not gonna burn any less or hurt any less because you knew it was gonna burn it doesn't work like that i know a lot of people say no if i was there and i knew what it was from the start you know um i knew what was happening so i wasn't attached i could detach at any point in time blah 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 yeah w when you start off you start off singing that song but then when things end and you're within it's not sounding the same anymore like you know the bright stand is hot you put your hand on the bar stand you're gonna burn it doesn't matter how you put your hand on the guy and or this way or that way you're still gonna burn either way so you're inflicting um pain on yourself because let's face it such things and such situations are hurtful like nobody enjoys um being with somebody who's not who, who doesn't care and is open about their feelings that they just don't give a fuck do you know what i mean so it is a very hurtful situation or position to be in so your yeah, word of the day situation yeah so it's very hurtful and it's also even more hurtful when you're situationing with somebody for so long and then they start talking to another girl like a week ago and then all of a sudden he wants to commit to that person that hurts like it doesn't matter how you look at it it will still hurt that how 
here I am thinking, no, any day from now you're going to change. But you didn't change because you wanted to change for me. You you changed or committed because you wanted to commit to the next person. So it's self-inflicted pain. So don't even do it, sis. It's not even worth your time. Also, um, this is a very self-explanatory one. If you're looking for a serious relationship, you don't start it off with a situationship. Situationship does not equal relationship. That's it. I don't know how, I, how else to elaborate on this thing. But a situationship does not equal a relationship. A situationship will never equal a relationship. Done. If you're looking for a relationship, don't start it off as a situationship because it will never lead to the other. I think I've said the same thing in different ways, but it's still the same thing. Don't do it if you if you know you're looking for something committed. Um, and number five, this one is very important. You will always settle and compromise. I cannot stress this enough. You will always settle and compromise you will be in situations that you don't want to be in with this person and you'll just be like you know what let me just compromise because anyway we having fun people guys in situationships don't compromise they don't so you end up compromising your feelings your principles um and your boundaries because you're trying to impress somebody who you'll never impress let's face it you're not going to ever impress somebody you're in a situation with. So, um, you you end up settling for, for what this guy is offering you. Almost as if you don't deserve better. You always deserve better. You're a queen and ain't no pauper going to tell you otherwise. So, if you're settling for, like, just mediocre from a guy... You end up being okay with meeting another one who's offering mediocre. And another one who's offering mediocre, you all of a sudden become the mediocre queen because it's just something you've decided to settle on. Like, oh, I'm not good enough for anything more than this. Do you know what I'm saying? So settling and compromising, don't ever put yourself in a situation where you have to settle and constantly be compromising who you are. Just to keep something that's going nowhere afloat is not worth it. It goes back to the first point. Waste of time. So don't do it at all. So yeah, that's basically the the clips that vanished from the last time that I recorded. Um, I did want to say, I just wanted to let everybody know that I will be doing like a girl's I don't know what I should call it. Girls chat, chit chat, girls code, whatever it is. I'll figure out a name. It's just a series where I'll be discussing things that affect women. Um, so relationships, business, finance, family, just everything within that spectrum that women need to face when growing and dealing with life. So I do want to that's like something very close to my heart i like talking about that kind of stuff probably you saw how i was glowing in the previous video and so i'm glowing now with no makeup on just by the way um yeah so that's something i definitely want to do and i forgot to um to mention the uh the product of the week so the product of this week will be my liquid highlighters they come in five awesome colors you choose whichever one you want um and they retail at 180 rand each you can mix it with your foundation you can use it on its own after you've applied your foundation i did want to say as well i just remembered that thank you so much to everybody who um scanned the qr code that i had put up for the slay palette i literally the last time i checked i had three left since the day i posted so um thank you very much i really appreciate the support do visit the website i will leave the link below um see what you like please do purchase because it's just need to make coins in these very difficult times um because i haven't been traveling i'm not i'm not able to sell 
any new clothes because I haven't been able to travel. So yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you like. I hope you liked it. Please do comment, share, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Um, watch some of my other videos. I'm sure you have plenty of time since lockdown happened. So yeah, thank you. Bye.